Picture a world on edge, geopolitical tensions mounting, and the echoes of the Cold War resurfacing. As conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East cast long shadows across the international stage, a new player enters the arena. The specter of a re-emerging Russia looms large, escalating tensions with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. These mounting pressures and shifting alliances set the stage for an event of unprecedented scale. In response to these growing concerns, NATO announces its largest military exercise since the Cold War. It is 2024, and NATO is mobilizing a force unseen since 1988. The grandeur of this operation is reflected in the sheer numbers involved. With over 90,000 men and more than 1,200 combat vehicles, NATO is making a statement, a testament to its preparedness and determination. At the helm of this massive undertaking is General Christopher Cavoli, NATO's Supreme Allied Commander Europe. His leadership guides the troops from various member countries and Sweden, a nation on the cusp of joining the alliance in this momentous exercise. Each nation brings its unique strengths, making the collective force a formidable one. But the aim is not merely to flex muscle. This mobilization is a strategic response, a rehearsal for a potential crisis. It's a simulation of a Russian invasion. This mobilization is not merely a show of strength, but a strategic response to a simulated Russian invasion. The stage is set in Poland, a NATO member sharing its border with Russia. The simulation is intricate and intense, designed to test the organization's rapid response to a potential invasion scenario. This training exercise is a testament to NATO's readiness, as troops swiftly mobilize towards Poland, demonstrating their capability to respond to an immediate threat. Moving beyond Poland, the northern border with Russia also becomes a strategic focus point of the exercise. Spanning across Norway, Latvia and Lithuania, the NATO forces showcase their strength and preparedness, reinforcing their commitment to the collective defense principle that underpins the alliance. The simulation is a powerful display of force, a stark reminder of the geopolitical tensions that have led to this massive mobilization. It's a statement. A message to the world that NATO stands ready to defend its members against any act of aggression. While the exercise is routine, the implications are far from ordinary. In the aftermath of the exercise, contradictory statements emerge. General Cavoli holds firm that this is routine, simply a part of NATO's ongoing commitment to peace through strength. Yet, Dutch Admiral Bauer offers a different perspective, hinting at preparations for potential conflict with Russia. It's a delicate dance between diplomacy and military readiness, a complex balance on the global stage. As the world watches we are left to ponder, are we moving towards peace or a potential conflict scenario? This is the reality of NATO's largest military exercise since the Cold War.